Oh, we kind of want to ha use that space for the. And then it's uh, it's like the only thing. When you think about South LA, opportunities in robotics might not be the first thing that come to mind, but one organization is committed to changing just that. What do you think? She this is South LA Robotics, and here's how it's closing the technology gap for hundreds of students in and around the South Los Angeles region. When I ran across South LA Robotics, I didn't know what to expect. I know a bit about robotics, but never thought much of it as a pathway or how it even relates to South LA. So I spoke to Jennifer Lashley, the founder and executive director of South LA Robotics, to learn more about the importance of building access to a program like this in the region. Lashley, who has worked in education for over 20 years, has unmatched enthusiasm for building pathways for all students in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM. Part of the reason why I started South LA Robotics is because we didn't have this type of technology in our school. We didn't have these options for students at the school where I was working. So every student who joins our club, one of the first questions we ask parents is, do you have an option for robotics at your school or somewhere in your community? And 99% of the time, the answer is definitely no. But we are here working on providing a way to close that gap. Like Lashley said, despite Los Angeles being a big city, access to supplementary STEM and coding-based programming is limited. A simple Google search reveals that West LA and its neighboring cities offer several more options for supplementary robotic courses than South LA. Even over the past decade, schools across Los Angeles have invested more into rigorous science, technology, engineering, and math curriculum, yet the neighborhood resources to support those investments haven't kept up at the same pace in South LA. In the summer of 2018, Lashley experimented with the idea of expanding robotic opportunities in South LA after building and maintaining a successful robotics course as a STEM coordinator. She started with a series of recurring community booths, pop-up courses, and a small competitive robotics team. Each of these opportunities, she said, were meant to address the technology gap in South LA, engage the interest and necessity that a program like this could have in the region. In the summer of 2019, with resounding support from dozens of families and students, South LA Robotics became a full-fledged nonprofit organization. South LA Robotics provides several avenues for small group robotics instruction. For starters, it hosts a weekly in-person robotic enrichment course for homeschool students. On Saturdays, its competitive robotics teams meet in person to troubleshoot robots, exchange ideas, and perfect code for upcoming competitions. Remotely, South LA Robotics offers a coding course where students can learn the basics of programming in virtual environments. Even in her time off, you'll find Jennifer in a teacher's state of mind, tinkering with curriculum to ensure students are learning efficiently and effectively. There is one aspect of our curriculum that we have really worked on incorporating uh, over the past year, and that is teaching the students about engineering concepts. So if you look at any of our lessons from all of our classes, every student is learning about the engineering design process, and they are going through the steps. If, if they're building a virtual game, if they're building a robot physically, no matter what their goal is, they're going through the engineering design steps to reach their goal. Yet, one of the most impactful pathways for South LA residents are the partnerships South LA Robotics has built with the community centers in Southeast and Southwest Los Angeles, two of which are the Sola Tech Entrepreneurship Center, which is located at the Beehive Campus near Central and Slauson, and the new Best Buy Teen Tech Center, which opened in 2022 near Slauson and Western. At the Best Buy Teen Tech Center, program director Ty Buckman is grateful for the level of programming South LA Robotics has offered the community. The Best Buy Teen Tech Center is a community organization. We actually are in South LA um, and we serve youth between the ages of 10 to 18 
and we also serve young adults 18 plus. We're also just a space that is open to the community, open to youth and young adults to come drop in and basically find their passions. South LA Best Buy Team Tech Centers have benefited from South LA Robotics um, in a number of ways. One of them is that a lot of the youth that come in, they love engineering. So whether they've been exposed to it or not, they're able to learn the basics of engineering and putting something together. So there is no cost to the youth and the families who enjoy the services that we offer. Our parent company, Vermont Sloss and Economic Development Corporation, is very supportive in making sure that we can provide these services and, and bring in people like South LA Robotics to give these free opportunities to youth. I also had the opportunity to talk to South LA robotic instructor Court Alunqua about the inspiration he ignites within students by leading these robotic classes at the community centers. I mean, it's been great just in terms of the fact that I've been able to get all around the city and just sort of be able to reach different students and like kids that are interested in robotics or tech in general, like trying to make sure that we can help them out as much as we can and have that sort of impact on the people of the community. One of the most exciting opportunities for students in South LA Robotics is the robotic competitions. Here, students build robots to solve specific problems from custom kits. So the teams, the way we run our teams is, again, just like a lot of our programs, it's really small, it's tight-knit, uh, each team is maybe four to five students working together, and we train our teams over a course of five or six months for each year, and then we go to competition. And competition is a big deal for families, for communities. For most of our students, it's something that they've never experienced before. So just part of it for us is just seeing their, you know, their faces and their reactions like, this has been happening this whole time? Yes, and now we get to be a part of it. These competitions have expanded the horizon for students in South LA Robotics. In fact, in August of 2019, the South LA Robotics team placed in the 2019 World Educational Robot Contest U.S. Open. After that achievement, the South LA Robotics team was invited to compete in an international robotics competition. And we ended up uh, placing first and second place in our high school division, which qualified our teams to compete in China. So at the time, we ended up taking three of our high school students over to China in October of 2019, competed, had this whole cultural experience. Um, the kids got to experience getting their passports and visas for the first time, some of them flying for the first time on a very long haul flight. <laughs> but, you know, it was, it was just, it was the best thing ever. And as a result of that competition, then we were invited to participate in the World Championship, which was then in Shanghai. So we ended up doing a GoFundMe, raising some money, and then taking the kids back to go to compete in Shanghai in that December. Without a doubt, Los Angeles has a long way to go to ensure all classrooms are equitable. But organizations like South LA Robotics are shrinking the gap by localizing opportunity for students to find pathways in engineering. In fact, since its inception, South LA Robotics has served over 350 students through its coding and robot instruction courses, and it's looking forward to learning new ways to expand its reach. We're part of a pathway out here. You know, we're trying to make a way for kids who are interested in this kind of stuff to, well, now you have a, a way to actually make it to that career. And there's people out here who are willing to support you and help you step by step. So we're, we, we are one of those steps.